update us on your sense of things, your scope of things with regard to controversies over the election, with regard to claims and filings of uh, fraud and irregularities. Where do you see that whole battle? How do you see it right now? Well, where we're seeing most of the action is going to be Georgia and Pennsylvania. There's still some residual uh, lawsuits in Michigan and Wisconsin that, and, and some real issues that have to be resolved there. And then, then Arizona is further down the pike. I think, um, you know, I'm, uh, I'm always perfectly candid with you. I yep. think as far as the Trump team goes, I think um, uh, with the certification um, in Maricopa County, I think that the, the Trump team has said, look, you know, uh, we have limited resources. We have to fight uh, every battle we possibly can. The, and and I just, you know, the administration tells me this on a regular sure. basis, that they're they are exploring every avenue to fight this out. But right now their attention is focused on, focusing on, on Georgia and Pennsylvania and um, Michigan and um, Wisconsin ahead of Arizona. Now people will tell me um, that, as as we go forward with those with those legal claims and, and as I think they're legitimate to go forward with, it's a heavy lift to 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 expect a great outcome in all of them. Um, but what's your sense of it? Is it a is it a heavy lift or is it uh, a fairly easy lift at this point? No, I think it's a heavy lift. But I think there I think even in Arizona there are uh, issues that that are worthy of litigation yeah. that that. And that need to be resolved. I mean, and you have to go through every uh, every avenue that you possibly can. It's it's an uphill slog. I mean, no. let's, let's just let's be candid about it. It's an uphill fight, but it's worth a fight because um, we're fighting for freedom. Sure. And so you you, ne- you never back down from that fight, and you continue to fight that fight. Um, I, I'll and, tell you one thing. I'm, I'm I'm pretty darn mad about, and you you feel free, obviously, as you said in candor, to agree or disagree. I'm looking at, you know, some of these margins. So in Arizona, it's about a 10,000 or so vote margin. And then I look at what the libertarian candidate for president got here, over 51,000 votes. And it just, it just, it really angers me, quite frankly, you know, when you think about who those voters most likely were, even if half of them went for Donald Trump, we wouldn't even be talking about this sort of thing. And, 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 and by the way, in everyone at the battleground states where the margins, yep. even, even as high as 10, uh, twenty, thirty thousand yep. votes. It's all that way. Yep. And what 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 blows my mind is there are places that um, uh, the Democrats did a good job of keeping Green Party candidates yep. off the ballot. Yep. And that's that's their split is usually Green. One party. almost so, wonders if they put the Libertarian candidate on our ballots or helped. You know. Yeah, I I I don't know about that. But yeah, I don't I either. But is, <laughs> it, 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 worked <laughs> it. it worked if they did it. It worked if they did it. Worked. I mean, you, you start looking at it, and 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 this is the first thing that I noticed on election night, and I'm sure you did too. Is you'd say, okay, um, we've got a we've got a Libertarian candidate who can't possibly win. I get it. They have the right to run, and I respect that right. Um, But if they really want something that leans towards libertarianism, um, it isn't it isn't uh, the the neo-Marxian authoritarianism and institutionalism of the the left, the the new left Democrat Party. The closest way you're going to get that is in the Republican Party. That's right. And and so in the Republican Party embraces the conservative ideals, but it also has a lot of libertarian of leading people like myself. Of in course, there. of course. And, and so uh, it was sure would have been nice if we could have kept our ba- uh, our ballots to, to a true two-party. No, I was reminding the audience that Reagan said, though we are libertarian, we are not members of the libertarian party. Libertarianism runs deep, should run deep, and does run deep. And it's certainly, <laughs> talk about the right. perfect being the enemy of the good, and it's far from perfect when you look at some of their positions. Um, you get you get Joe Biden when you vote libertarian. Andy, a um, couple other things I wanted to run by you. You and I have pretty much throughout since March been on the same page with regard to uh, reactions uh, to COVID. Um, I'm getting nervous. Uh, I'm getting really nervous as I'm watching a lot of these states, big states, New York, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Oregon, California. They're going back into shutdown mode, shutting schools down in New York City. Um, mandates over Thanksgiving and numbers of people that can show up and mandates as to where you can eat for Thanksgiving. Um, and then we have Christmas. I mean, I'm, I'm getting really nervous here, speaking of libertarian concerns. 
Yeah, and you should be nervous because that spreads throughout the country. And and quite frankly, um, they, the momentum of support that is behind lockdowns has evaporated largely. And um, there's a plurality now that will support it instead of a clear majority. You have um, even Chris Cuomo uh, admitting a few days ago that Hey, you know, uh, in schools, we're seeing that they're not super spreaders right. and uh, the danger's not there. You have the Denmark mask study that came huge. out. Huge. And yeah, huge. And, and it, it was, a, it was a controlled study, mm-hmm. et cetera. And it, they have no masks have no, um, a statistical, um, I- impact, um, over non mask wearing. And, and the thing is, is, is when people yell at us and say you should be following the science yeah. and we say, well, this is this is really one of the uh, few controlled studies you have on masks yeah. it, it, since COVID came out and it debunks what you say. And now all of a sudden they're like, well, you know, you, you can't. Yeah, well, wear that. a mask it, anyway. Okay. Yeah, wear a mask anyway. <laughs> that, that's the about, odd thing. 80 to 90 percent of the people are wearing masks. And these states that have had mask mandates right. and are, I mean, it's and, and are seeing cases rise at a certain point. It's not just science. It's common sense, too, isn't it? What more is, well, the, yeah, and what more is the mandate going to do? It's, it's not it's just not in the U.S. either. I mean, around the world, right. you have places where they've had a masks, mandates and lockdowns for many months right. where they're spiking again because. What seems to happen, there seems to be a pattern, right? I mean, six to eight weeks, and mm-hmm. then and then it burn, seems to burn itself out for a while, and then it, it comes back to, it, to uh, people take away their mask mandate mm-hmm. uh, that was that was in place, which supposed to, was supposed to prevent the surge, right. didn't prevent the surge, didn't. no, and it just it. I, I I'm baffled. I mean, I'm. I always say I'm not a doctor, but I can but I can read medical journals. You bet. And I can I can look at these things, and I I get a feel for it. It's not just a feel; you you gain information and sure. knowledge. And uh, uh, we're, I, we're I going crazy. This. We're just going crazy as a society. Now I understand the inclinations yeah. of people wanting Terribly to do something, but you know, be careful. Yeah, be right. responsible. We're, don't wave your mask around like Joe Biden for 10 minutes and touch it and cough into your hand and put it back on your face. That would be one thing not to do, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Well, I mean, so it, 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 just, it just doesn't seem to make a lot of sense for us to be so acquiescent in giving up our rights. Okay. How about let's be responsible? Be there responsible. You there you go.